The protests were unprecedented. In a display of anger toward the Greek Orthodox Patriarch of Jerusalem, demonstrators attacked the convoy of Theophilus III as it made its way to Bethlehem's manger square in the occupied West Bank. Behind all this, recent news reports alleging the Patriarch has been involved in property sales to foreign tax havens and those properties may end up in the hands of Israeli businesses. Protesters believe the allegations and say it will make it harder for Palestinians to establish their own state. Our demands are clear and simple. We want the Patriarch to resign. We want to reform the Patriarchate and assign a legal committee to evaluate the situation. Representatives of the Greek Orthodox Church of Jerusalem deny the allegations. We did not, as they claim, sell our lands to the Israeli occupation. Those are old deals the Patriarch wants to rectify and clarify, because all those old deals are detrimental to the rights of the Patriarchate and its congregation. While this is not the first time the church has been accused of selling some of the numerous properties it owns in Jerusalem, the outrage now is far greater than it had been before. In Manger Square, despite the marching bands and music, a truly festive atmosphere was hard to achieve. The arrival of the Patriarch wasn't just protested, local officials also gave him a cold shoulder when they refused to welcome him to the square. Another issue overshadowing celebrations this year is the decision by U.S. President Donald Trump to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. In the month since that decision was made, there have been numerous protests in the occupied West Bank, and it's really contributed to a growing sense of hopelessness amongst Palestinian Christians. 40-year-old George Abu Sa'da says he's never witnessed such a somber mood at Christmas. If things remain as is, all people will seek to leave. Who'd stay here if you see it being sold? The city is sad. Have you ever seen Bethlehem like this? Thousands would usually be here at Christmas. Muslims would show up even before Christians. Palestinian Christians in the West Bank are worried their relatively small number will continue to dwindle. And according to a recent study by the Dar al-Kalima University College, 28% of Palestinian Christians said they'd leave this region if given the chance, highlighting yet again the growing feeling of despair at a time of year when there is usually, at the very least, a small semblance of hope. Mohammed Jamjoum al-Jazeera, Bethlehem, the occupied West Bank.